Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at five lighted items that you wear while walking or jogging at night. But before I get to the video, I got a few disclaimers to go over. Number one, if you're sensitive to flashing light, there are some scenes later on in the video where there are flashing lights, so just be aware of that. Number two, I do realize that the items in this video most people can't use right now because most people are under stay at home orders. Just, so just think it more for entertainment purposes or maybe something to bookmark for later on. Number three, here in Nevada, we're not under a stay at home order yet. So my son and I carefully found an empty park where we could try these things out. We did exercise proper social distancing. There's, there was no one around, so uh, we were careful about that. With that said, this is probably the last time I film outside of my house or car for the foreseeable future. So it's kind of my last hurrah being outside. And finally, there's a Q&A at the end of this video, and I'm gonna be including extra content at the end of most of my upcoming videos. It may not be related to the product or products at all. So just think of it as maybe a free Patreon or a double feature. You can watch the first part if you want or watch all if you want. Uh, hopefully you enjoy some of it. And with that out of the way, let's get right to the video. I should point out this video was inspired by my friend JC in Virginia who suggested this item, which is the first one I'm looking at. And that is this item, which are clip-on USB rechargeable shoe lights. Fit on your shoes like this, you press a button, and pretty cool, very attractive. It does come with two USB chargers right here. Now I paid 12 bucks for these on Amazon for two of them. The reviews were pretty good. Some of the complaints were that they fell off easily. Uh, that seemed to be the case for a lot of the ones like this. There was another option very similar, but they required batteries, so I went with the rechargeable option instead. I haven't put these on my shoe yet, but I don't know how that's gonna wrap around a shoe. I feel like I'm gonna break it and it's barely even coming apart. This is how they show it, just above the sole and pointing upward. And they say it's for walking, running, and cycling. Uh, is it, is it gonna, oh, it's not breaking. Oh, oh, look, it's smashing the shoe. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Let me try it this way. A little bit like Back to the Future, but I'm gonna try this out tonight and see how they actually look. Number two, if you remember the slap bracelets, this is a lighted version of that. And this one can go on your wrist, on your arm, pretty much anywhere you can wrap it around. Take a closer look at this one. Now I did get a six pack of these. I've only opened one of them. Uh, these do use batteries. You can see in there, it looks like the battery just slides out. Uh, not fond of batteries, but that's uh, what we're stuck with. You just slap it on your wrist. Okay, it looks like we have fast flashing, slow flashing, and steady. I'm gonna wear four of these, two uh, on my wrist, two on my arms while I'm out tonight. These I paid 15 bucks for six of them. And again, does not, it's not rechargeable, but we'll see if that makes a difference or not. Number three is this, which looks a little bit like the slap wrist, but this is a full-size belt. Attach it this way, right around your waist. They say you can wear it around your arm, your back, but it seems to be more, most often used as a belt. I paid 20 bucks for this one. It's an Amazon's Choice, a 4.7 star rating with over a thousand reviews, so that's actually pretty good. This one is rechargeable. Plug it in right there, and then you have this switch right here. By the way, the name of this is a Lumiscene. So you have flashing and steady, so just two modes there. The only real complaints I read about this one is that the belt doesn't wrap all the way around your waist or it's difficult to get a proper fit. But people did say that it's pretty bright and has a good battery life, so uh, we'll have to check out and see how this fits when I try it on tonight. Now I have not opened these, but these are just lighted clips. They come uh, with a strap or they can be clipped on. Now this one comes with some extra batteries and a screwdriver and that's been the primary problem I've read on this. People say the batteries are really difficult to replace. Comes with a mini strap here. I'm probably just gonna clip it. I'm probably just gonna use it as a clip. I did see a lot of complaints about replacing the batteries though. I wish it was rechargeable. But the nice thing about this one is it can also clip on your dog's collar, which I saw some people do. So this one maybe is more versatile because of, it, because of its clip design. And you have three modes, steady, fast and slow. These I paid 17 bucks for the two of them on Amazon. And finally, this looks like, I, <laughs> I don't know what this one looks like, but this one goes around your chest. This is a chest light. It looks like a, almost kind of like a headlight in the middle of your chest. The back, I think also lights up. It's, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out where this, where this strap goes. 
I'll have to figure, I'm going to have to read the instructions to figure this one out. I'll have it figured out by the time my test is out tonight. So you have bright, dim, strobe, and off. Now the other thing is the backlight's up too. So this is, when you wear this on your front, you get this in the, almost like a little tail light. That's kind of cool. So that's dim, and it does flash. Okay, so I believe also this is the battery indicator. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I've got it plugged in right now. It is rechargeable, and I paid 18 bucks for this. The complaints about this one were also that the strap was not very secure. A few people said that the lights flickered even when it was not in strobe mode, which is going to be interesting to look for. And some people said that the inability to angle the light was problematic because it's just going to kind of point wherever your chest points it at. So I'll, I'll be on the lookout for all those things. That's the preliminaries. All of them have been charged, so they should be ready to go. Now I'm just have to wait for it to get dark outside. I'm going to take it to a nearby park and see how they all work in the field. So that's next. All right, let's get started with the shoe clip-ons. What I did was I am actually wearing two different types of shoes because some people said that the type of shoe might matter. So I want to take that variable out of it and use two different shoes. Oh, it still feels like it's going to break. Ugh, okay. Here we go. I can feel them squeezing my ankles. Or not my ankles, the heels on my foot. But let me try running back and forth here and see how they do and see if they fall off. And we're off. Uh, very short run. They stayed on there, but I'm gonna run some more tonight. I'm gonna leave them on the rest of this time while I'm trying the other lights and make sure they're not falling off then. I can definitely feel them squeezing though. And look at this, oh look at this. See that? Hello, <laughs> oh, it's already starting to come off. I bet if I ran again and one would fall, let me try them again. <sighs> okay, let's see. Okay, it's, it's holding right there, but that's, I don't know. I'm not real, this, on the other side now, this wasn't even that loose before. That was the biggest complaint that they fall off. And that short of a run, they're already hanging off. I'm a, I'm a bit skeptical it's going to hang on that long. If that short of a run, they're already sticking off about a, an inch off my foot. Let me try something else, and I'll leave these on and see how they do the rest of the time. Let me try these clips next. Boom. I'm just going to clip them right here. I'm going to clip one on this side and I'm going to clip the other over here. All right. There, there they are. You know, it's time for another run. Okay, well, my shirt covered him up. I could clip him on this pocket here, I guess. The cameraman says that they were still visible, even my shirt covering it. Let me take a short run with them on my pockets and see how they look. People are probably wondering what I'm doing out here, but I don't really care. These seem actually quite bright. I'm gonna turn them off for right now. Whoa. And keep going. All right, it's time for the belt. I did adjust this earlier, but I have not ran around with it on yet. Now this one you have to decide if you want to go in the front or the back because it's it's not big enough to be both. I'm just gonna leave it on the back. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Yes? No? What do you think cameraman? Cameraman says it looks pretty good. Oh wow I can actually see my arms lit up from behind like that. Whoa! I'm gonna leave these on but I'm gonna turn the light off because I don't want to take away from the other ones. Here we go running with the belt. All right, how did that look? Good. Yeah, looks good? Okay. Well, it's weird because you, can only, you, you would think it would go all the way around, but it only goes in the back. I guess you could wear it in the front. I guess it depends on which direction you're running for or against traffic. If you should wear it in the front or the back. It should go all the, all the way around, my opinion. All right, well, I'm just going to leave this one on while that obnoxious car drives over there. These are kind of my favorite ones. These are the slap bands. I'm going to do four of these. I'm just going to peel four of them off like a wad of cash almost. One, two, three. Get the battery activated here. 
wrist number one. Well, that's weird. The color changes. I don't think that's on purpose. Wrist number two. We're going to go on arm if I can get it. Well, not, not really on the arm too much, is it? I guess right there. That doesn't look very good. What do you think, cameraman? <laughs> You've been going to the gym too much. Maybe it doesn't fit my arm because of these guns here, right? <laughs> I didn't say they're big guns. These people are walking by wondering, what in the world is he doing? I feel like I'm in that Tron game from the 80s, man. It's like Tony Stark. It's time for the lap. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is these look cool. The bad news is that look what was on the ground out there. Oh, it fell off. Oh, that's bad. Sorry, shoe clips, you fell off. They failed, They've, but the, I like these. They're kind of flamboyant, but I like them. Last but not least, this one I actually had to kind of practice putting on properly. You gotta put it over your head. Oh no, that's not right. It's, okay, this is it, this is it. You're supposed to have one strap over your shoulder and the other two around, around your torso, just like that. All right, here we go, I gotta turn it on. Ooh, I got a headlight. Whoa. Look how bright that is. Oh, the cameraman's impressed. The cameraman's impressed. How's it looking on the back? I, I got a tail light, right? Yep. What do you think? All right, here we go. Oh, wow, it's a very, it definitely lights the way. It is, it's like a, it's like headlights. I can see where I'm going. This is actually pretty nice. I, I've got to say, it illuminated where I was running, which is really nice. The taillight isn't as bright, but that's not really the point. I think that the point is to have basically a headlight and a little bit of light behind you. These are going back on. So disappointed these fell off. But that was the number one complaint in, on Amazon. The okay, belt's on, clip's on. Oh, I gotta have these. You know what, I'm gonna have them all blink. <laughs> Let's have them all blink. I'm gonna make myself stand out as much as I can. Here we go. Uh, blink, is the belt blink? Belt's blinking. Okay, these blink also. I think these blink? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> All right. Get, what do you think, huh? All right, here we go. Let's try it out. That is so ridiculous. That was so blinky. On the other hand, I would definitely be noticed by any of the cars driving by. The Tony Stark flashing light running outfit is complete. There's no car out there that would not notice me. In fact, I, I look across the street, I can see, I can see the street light flashing because I'm so bright. I don't know what that was. All right, this is the full ensemble. And I, this is the darkest part of the park. I'm telling you that I am standing out like a Christmas tree right now. I think it's time to go home and wrap this thing up. Oh, look, I was about to leave. The cameraman saw this on the ground. Look, it fell off again. It fell off again, the cameraman. All right, just to prove how much these do stand out, especially when they're all used together, not only was this, old, this lady who was taking a walk in the park shouting across the park asking what I was doing, but a dog was barking at me as well. So I think they all worked. I have some favorites and some less than favorite favorites, but I'm gonna wrap that up tomorrow. So I'll see you then. All right, so let me rank these real quick. I would say number five has gotta be the shoe clips. Now, I do like the Tron-like design. That would be one of the pros on that one. And they're pretty bright. The con would be that they fell off more than once in that short period of time. That's kind of a deal breaker because that's the main point of the whole thing is to stay on your shoes. That was the main complaint on Amazon, and I agree. They don't stay on your shoes, defeats the purpose. Shoe clips, number five. Number four, I have to say, would be the belt. Now, the pros would be that it's bright, it's rechargeable, easy to put on and take off. For the cons, now some people on the negative reviews on Amazon said that they found it hard to put on, take off. I didn't find that to be the case. To me, the biggest con is that you only get half of it illuminated. 
it seems like it would it would be much better if you could light it all the way around I don't like to have to decide if I want the light to be in the front or back it shouldn't have to be a question it's bright it's overall pretty good but I wish it was more of a 360 design now number three I would say would be the clips now the pros on that one be that it's pretty bright it's versatile and it's compact you can also put these almost anywhere as well and they give you extra batteries so I give props for that now the main con would be that it uses batteries which I don't like in the first place and the second thing about that is that I can tell these batteries are going to be really hard to replace. They have in detailed instructions. They give you this microscopic screwdriver. People on Amazon complain about it. The batteries are definitely the big con. If it was rechargeable, I'd probably rank these higher. Number two has got to be the slap lights. They're easy to put on, easy to take off. They're pretty bright. And you get six of them, which is actually a pretty good deal. The only real con is that one also uses batteries, which I'm not fond of. But overall, I do like them. And that leaves number one for the chest light. That's right, the chest light. This one is rechargeable. It wasn't very expensive at 18 bucks. And not only does it let cars see you from the front and the back, but it illuminates your path when you're walking or jogging so you can see where you're going as well. That's definitely a nice feature. There aren't really that many cons other than maybe it's a little bit awkward to put on, but that's not a deal breaker at all for this one. I actually like this product. To me, the chest light is the top product of this five. Stay tuned for a little Q&A at the end if that's of interest to you. Otherwise, please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews. All right, the review portion of the video is over, so if you just came for the review, you can uh, move on to the next thing. But in my last video, I promised I'd do a little question and answer at the end of my next video, which is this one. In fact, I'll do, I'll do questions in the future videos, so if you have questions, keep sending them in to me. So, I've got the questions right here. I'm just going to pick the first one now. Martin in Wales on Twitter, he asked, uh, what is your actual job or the, do the videos provide enough income for you? Uh, this, I've been a full-time YouTuber for about three years now, so this is my job. This is it. Before YouTube, I was kind of a blogger and uh, I wrote reviews on products. I didn't do videos for them. Now, Jill in Canada on Twitter asked what the very first TV infomercial I remember seeing is. Now, the first one I remember seeing was Mr. Microphone in the late 70s from Ronco. That commercial, if you saw it once, you don't forget it. And it ran a lot back then. So I remember a lot of the Ronco products back then, but Mr. Microphone was by far the first one that I remember. A young YouTuber by the name of Vlog Nation wrote it on Instagram and asked, how has the virus affected you and your family? Well, we're staying at home. We're, we're not leaving. As, uh, as the Grinch said in the movie, I have everything I need right here so i really do everything i can not to leave the house I, I mean that's kind of the whole point of trying to beat this is by staying at home a couple of people in my house are a little bit higher risk so we're really doing our best to try to stay vigilant and stay home i will say that we've actually spent a lot more quality time together we're doing things like watching tv shows playing video games building puzzles so i mean there's a silver lining i'd rather life be back to normal but it's been nice to spend a little bit extra time with everybody here Kareem from Montreal on Instagram asked, are you really that irate and emotional about the products you review in the videos, or is that just your YouTube persona? Well, I mean, I think my early videos, I was trying not to be animated because I thought that's what I was supposed to do as a reviewer. And then I realized I was kind of suppressing my, my real personality. Uh, when I get excited, I can, I, that's how I am. So uh, I definitely try to be in, in the best upbeat mood I can while I'm filming so that's what part of me comes out I think that my kids would probably say that that's how I get when I'm excited about something I've got a couple of similar questions here Nolan on Instagram said when you start on YouTube it, was this a, just a fun project or something to make your job and Nico on Instagram he says he's been watching since high school and he's now in the army in the Middle East thank you for serving our country by the way Nico uh, he wants to know why I started doing reviews and what made me realize I had talent for reviews I'm not sure I have a talent for reviews at all I just think that maybe I'm so quirky that it works for me, but I see reviewers out there that are very professional. That's not me. So I'm kind of embracing the fact that I'm not like that. But really what happened was I saw Casey Neistat in 2016, and I wanted to be him so bad that I tried doing some test vlogs on another channel, which has since been deleted, by the way. Three of us are headed to Huntington Beach today, but first I have to play with Bailey because she's going to miss me for three days, and she doesn't know that yet. Good girl. Here's some free, refreshing dog water. They don't like me. We are now in Nevada, not Nevada. If you say Nevada, you're gonna get ostracized from the state. It's Nevada. Oh yeah. Nevada. So I realized pretty quickly that a lot of YouTubers out there could copy the Casey Neistat techniques, 
they can't copy his storytelling, he is a master storyteller. I realized I had no story to tell. I'm at home most of the time. I also needed my website, freakinterviews.com, which I don't really update that much anymore. It needed some video content, so I figured I would just kind of take the creativity that I wanted to put into vlogging into my reviews to let my personality show a little bit more, and there we go. So it was not a master plan. It was actually kind of more of an accident than anything. If you told me then where I'd be now, I've been shocked. I had no clue, no aspirations. I just wanted to create some extra videos for my website. Kaylee on Instagram asked, what happened to your beer bottle collection above your cupboards? Well, I'm not much of the craft beer hobbyist that I used to be, so it doesn't really represent where I'm at now. I figure that having a few vintage ASEAN TV kitchen items up there and my golden retriever wine holder seem a little bit more appropriate to who I am at this moment, so I just figure it's time for a change. And finally, Grant on Instagram asked about my Indiana shirt that I occasionally wear if I have any connection to Indiana. Well, I have family in Indiana. I have cousins that are there, and I visit every year or two. So that's when I wear that shirt, I think about them. In fact, when I wear my Brockport shirt, which is where my sister's family lives, I think of them as well. So it kind of keeps me connected to my family by having a shirt from where they're at. So that's about it as far as the questions go. If you like this format, when I add some extra stuff at the end of the video, let me know. Tell me if you, if you like it or not. Preferably on one of my other social media sites because these comments get a little, bit, a little bit cluttered here sometimes. But I'm going to keep doing it anyways, but I just want to know what your opinions are. And maybe I'll add some, some different kinds of things in upcoming videos to try to uh, just mix things up a little bit. But I really appreciate everybody watching. I hope everybody's staying safe. And uh, I'll see you next time, which is hopefully in a couple more days. Bye.